Hey everybody, how are you? We have greetings from all over the world here, from the Philippines, from Spain, from Greece, Poland, the rainy UK, Tijuana, Virginia, Austria. <laughs> so welcome. Thanks for joining me. Um, I'm, I think I'm going to finish up this container here this time. Um, what I've done is, well, the last time when I was in a Substance Painter here, I uh, was scratching my head about how to put the uh, words on the container here. And um, ultimately, <laughs> I had a brain brain fart and uh, I ultimately the very complex process of doing that is taking this and dragging it over here and there you go so yeah sometimes you just can't think of it in the moment but uh, that's all we really needed to do so I'm going to try and add some of these on here uh, take it into Unity to look at it one more time, and then maybe go back to Blender here and work on just blocking out the uh, cargo hold here. So let's just uh, finish up our words on the crate here. Uh, I just need this lined up. Alt, Shift, and rotate it so it clicks into that view. And, um, I don't know, should it be that big? If I hit S and then right mouse button, I can make it that a little bigger. So let me try this. Let me see. I've got the hardness all the way up to one. Uh, let's try it. I'm just going to paint this on. Yeah. Okay. I can... I can work with that. Um, and I can change the opacity of this too. But I'll just move this over here now. Kind of uh, reduce the size, not the light. I'm moving the light instead of the hit the S key and right click. There we go. Uh, oh, I should ask can you hear me? <laughs> Am I, uh, um, can you hear, hopefully uh, I've got the mic all plugged in correctly. Okay. Let me just paint this piece on right here. Yes, loud and clear. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, one of these days, I'm going to get all the uh, technical details of this thing down. It's been fun to learn about it. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to move this right up here like that. There we go. Blurry, it's a little... A little, a little pixelated, but you know what? I'm not too worried about it because let me just re remove that. If we zoom out like this, it's going to be like this, and I think that's going to be fine. And I'm going to reduce the opacity like this, you know, down to like 30 or that's probably pretty good. So it, it'll be something like this and I think that's going to be fine. So um, what I would like to do is e erase this a bit. Oop, I don't want to get all that. Let me take the hardness up all the way and just erase this right here. Get rid of that. All right. Let's see what else we can do with this. I'm going to drag that back over there. Um, I kind of want a few other numbers along here. Let's see how it works. E move this. I'm going to try 
just putting in these numbers here, like this. And then maybe I can take that and move these down like this. So it's kind of like that. Yeah, like that. Okay. And then um, let's take it all the way down. And I have this do not do, do not touch thing right here. Um, where am I going to put that? Right here. It's kind of silly. It's true. Actually, I'm going to move this up here like that. But why not? Do not touch. <laughs> there we go. Do not touch. Okay, so now we've got this in place. That's not bad. Um, the only thing I want is that words going uh, vertically over here. So that's the last thing I want to do. And what I can do then is just turn on the other colors and with that up there at the top it's just gonna come through on each of the colors like that yeah that's cool all right um, so I need to make um, the colors or the uh, text go vertically so let's work on that Oh, a little, ooh, worth weathering with an, a noise texture. That's an idea. Um, someone says that, uh, is it worth um, varying the color and text position some? It may be. Um, it's a possibility. So in other words, I could make, I, I could just duplicate this or and change it up a bit. That's a possibility, yeah. Well, let me um, get the vertical text going here. So if I go back to Photoshop here. Um, so what I want to do is I want these things to go, I want these two things to go up and down. So I don't need the do not touch, I don't need these, uh, or that, I just need these two. And I think I'm going to duplicate them, actually, so I have these still here. I'll just duplicate and pop those there. Now, um, I think I can take one of these and right-click. There used to be a, ho yeah, horizontal, uh, vertical. There we go. That's what I want. And now let's do that with this one. Um, vertical. There we go. Yeah, that's what I want. Okay, so I don't think I need too much more than that. So let's go ahead and save that. Um, I'll save that as a PNG. Export it out. And this will be container 3, I guess. Let's try that. Okay, so back in in Substance Painter, I'm going to import a uh, a resource. Add resource. There it is, container text three, and I'm going to put this in my textures just for this project and import here. And there it is. All right. Yeah. Okay. So now. Uh, let's, maybe I'll make this horizontal text, and I'll actually add a new layer for vertical text, just if I need it to be a little, you know, uh, two different things, I can have it there. Drag this over into the stencil, and let's try this now. Snap that. And um, I kind of want it to be, I think it was right around here. Let me zoom that in just a bit. I 
think something like that. Now well, let's try it. See how that works. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm just going to hit the S key middle mouse and go down like this. Like that. And like this. There we go. And I feel like I want one more right up here. But I'll make it really small. Kind of like, oops, okay, that didn't work, hit S, and there we go, and right here like that, let's try that, okay, something like that, let's take a look, yeah, okay, so, yeah, that's kind of cool. And I can take the opacity down some like that, like it's kind of faded. And then, did I, looks like I got an extra little piece here. I could go to my eraser and take that away. There we go. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Uh, I think I want the other side now too. So maybe over here, like this. Oh, did, oh, that's awesome. <laughs> so let me, yeah, so remember when I uh, UV mapped it in Blender and I only UV'd one set of doors and the other UVs were right on top of that because I then duplicated it so that came out right over here auto automagically so but it didn't do that over here because I didn't do the same thing over on this but that's okay we can get this done here uh, stencil once again and uh, I think I'll move it over to here so here's that small one I just did I'll do that. Oh, that's a race. Let's try the brush. All right, I put a, did I put a, a stencil on the eraser? Yeah, let's not do that. That's gonna really confuse me <laughs> coming up if I use that again. All right. So now let's get this small one done here. Oh, uh, it's a little off. Let me move it just a little over here there we go and get this done oops all right I'll just undo and do it again there we go now I want to zoom it out again and get a larger one right here like so Well, I still want it a little bit over like that. There we go. There's that. Then let's move this over and put that right there. Oh, I think I must have hit a so we've hit a, sh a a shortcut key to change the brush here but the good thing is I'm done <laughs> so we've got that now I'm gonna take the vertical text down maybe closer to 30 again like the other all right Now, I think that's pretty good. I think that's what I'm going to go with because, as I said, there's not going to be, it doesn't need a whole lot. It's going to be pretty far away, probably. I think that's pretty good. Okay. Well, 
let's get this uh, ex exported out and let's take it into Unity and see how it looks. There's an extra little piece under the small vertical numbers on the side too. It's gonna drive you crazy. What, did I already erase it? Is, it, is that the one I already erased? Wait a minute. Okay, I think that's the one I erased. I'm hoping. Okay. So, let's see if we can get this then exported out. See how it's going to look. Um, do you have any idea when your next character sculpting modeling series will be will be. Um, I kind of do. I'm working on one for Blender 101 currently. And um, it's uh, the the characters that are going to be going in these scenes that I'm creating here. So I would say probably the first one will probably be out in February. So... Um, If I just overwrite the old texture files, shouldn't Unity auto update? Yeah, it would actually, but I um I uh <laughs> I think I went in and deleted those anyway. So but yes, you are correct. If the name is the same, it should just auto update it. You are correct. But um I didn't I wasn't that forward thinking. <laughs> That would have been a great idea. Okay. So let's start exporting these out. So let's begin with the red. I'm going to export this out. And uh, Unity 5. Here we go. Uh, 2048. I want to put it in my exports. And I've got a cargo container red. Here, I'm just going to overwrite this here, like that. That should overwrite that. Now let's go with green here. And I should have a green, I think. Yep, there it is. Let's overwrite that. And my blue. There we go. Okay. And let's take this one. I've got a cargo container. I'm going to go cargo container blue. I'm going to go ahead and do that so I don't get confused, because I'm easily confused. <laughs> All right, there we go. Export that. Now, if all goes well, we should be able to come in here into Unity. And uh, I've got my uh, textures in here. I've got a blue one, a green one, and a red one. And if I go to that folder that we just exported those into here. Okay, so I've got blue. Here's blue. Got him. Done. There. Now, green. Here we go. Um, green. Get that in there. Red. And put that in there. All right, so I have them all organized. Because as I said, I, I'm <laughs> it's easy to lose track of what I'm doing. So now what I can do is in my m materials here, I've got container blue, container green, and container red. So if I look up the 
blue, I can put these in here, right? Yes, and yes, there we go. So now I should be able to take that container blue and just drag it right on, and there it is. Nice. Okay. Next, container green. Do the same thing. And I should be able to drag these in then, or drag this material in and see how it looks here. So if I go to my materials, grab that green, drag it on, there it is. So I, sh I sh uh, should be able to just drag and drop what I want to be on a particular one. So that'll be helpful. Red, and let's get this on. And the normal, and there we go. Now just grab that red and drag it on, and there we go. Nice. Okay, so that is, I think, going to work as just kind of a proof of concept here. Um, yeah, I think, I think uh, that might just work. How did I, I like Rogue One? <laughs> I thought the second half was worth sitting through the first half. How's, how's that? <laughs> uh, I mean, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't love the first part of it, but the last part I thought was pretty good. I don't know. I'm, I'm still, it isn't as, it isn't as good as Empire. I don't know what can be. That's, that's my favorite one. All right. Let's see what else we got here. I think what we should do now, or I think what I'd what I'd I'd like to do is go back and work on that uh, warehouse, and begin bringing in more of not the warehouse. It's a cargo hold. It's a warehouse on a boat. <laughs> um, so let's go back. I mean, just make sure. Is there anything else we? need to do before we carry on. I think this is good for now. Let me make sure and s save it. Yeah, I think I think we're ready to begin on other things. Greetings from Morocco. Is it possible to have one model one model in Unity and have it randomly choose red, green, or blue uh, textures. Well, it can choose the material. So yeah, you could, through scripting, you could randomly assign a material to an object. So you could, um, yeah, you could have an object be a prefab. Um, although it, it would probably be easier to have um, each of your objects be a prefab with a a different color and then um, through your script grab that prefab so like for th this now if I took this con container here with the material and all the textures on it and I just click and drag it down here it creates what's called a prefab and now th th this object now I can delete this this object now contains all of the information that was on that um, on that object, the material, all the textures, the object, and if you added uh, comp uh, components to it and scripts, it would all be in in the prefab. And then you could just say, call this prefab to to to. Can I not? Here we go. Container red. And then you just call the prefab through the script. So that's another way to, to do it. But yeah, I'm pretty sure you could assign materials um, through, through a script on the fly. Yeah. All right. Um, let's see. 
Hello from Brazil. Uh, normal map bolt painting. Ah, uh, yes. The bane of my existence. Um, that, that didn't work well because I tried with the uh, painting. And the problem, I think, is that the um, UV islands are so small for this thing. Let me get rid of this. So the UV islands for these pieces here are so small that they just came out so uh, uh, pixelated. It just didn't work out very well. I think I, I think I could do it. I just would need to redo the U, the UV map, and I didn't want to go back and take the time and do that. Honestly, that's that's all it was. So another way to do that, perhaps. Um, well, as I said, one way to do that is to just go back and re redo the UV map so that these particular pieces are uh, have more resolution on the map. Um, I also thought about creating, um, instead of using half spheres, using like a... Um, a cylinder with like just you know six uh, sides and then let me uh, get this going and then I could take this and get rid of this and just use something like this for each of the bolts I thought about that. So it'd be fewer polys. So I'm still kind of mulling it over, I guess. And this happens. I get, I go and I do some things and then I don't quite think it's good and then I'll come, I'll come back to it. So yeah, I haven't quite figured out a perfect way to do that. All right. Um, so this thing here, what I'm going to try and do is create some sort of like a cargo hold like this. Because I need this because there's going to be some sort of a, a battle fight going on inside this huge cargo hold. right? So I'm going to have to create all of this. And it's going to need some other crates or those... Um, <clears throat> forklift um, planks and um, it's going to need like a table and a folding chair. It's going to need some things in here. So I thought maybe today I could just kind of block it out and get a sense of how it might look. I like this. This is cool, but I don't know that it's going to work for what I want. Maybe I can use a part of this. So what I'm going to do, as I said, is just kind kind of try and use this and block it out. So I already have this now in Unity. I can play with this now, do whatever I want with it to kind of block out the scene. So let's see. Let's say that this is the front of the. I'm going to use the uh, positive positive X here and use it this way so this will be the front of the cargo hold here and let me rotate this um, RZ90 and uh, let's start moving this around seeing what we can do here so if we had see this here looks like it's 40 feet long these here whereas mine are only 20 I think 40 feet would be a good thing. So, I think what I'm going to do is just start duplicating these around just to get a sense of how big this place should be. So, maybe like that. Um, it should. I wonder if it should be three wide. 
Let me see how that looks if I make it three wide. I don't know if one would be three wide, but I kind of need some extra space here. All right, so if that's, eh, eh, I don't think that's gonna work, okay. <laughs> so let me try this and let me put a floor on. Let's do that. Something like this. Let's say it goes back farther this way. Yeah, okay. So I'm just trying to get oops, I'm just trying to get ideas here cuz I don't have an exact plan in mind. Let's then do this. Let's take this, duplicate it, rotate it around the Y. No. How about R Y? No. Nope. R Y negative nine zero. There it is. And let's put this in place up here. Let's see how tall this needs to be. Okay. Is that too big? One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see how tall six of these are. Just kind of really r rough estimate here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. So maybe, maybe this doesn't need to be quite this tall, like that. All right, so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. I'm using this one thing that I know now how big it is. It's eight and a half feet wide, right? By, or eight feet wide by eight and a half feet tall or something like that. It's around eight feet wide and eight feet tall. So, I'm trying just to get a, a sense of how big this would be. I'm going to spin this around RZ180 like this. And so if I had this like this, then maybe I could add some of these things here. All right? So let me, uh, if I had, let me close this in just a bit like so. Let me come down here and what is the, uh, is it sh shift F and then tab? Whoa, that's it, but I dropped through. Let me try again. Shift F tab. I dropped through again. I just want to run around. Let me run around. Dang it. <laughs> shift F tab. There it is. Okay. Finally, so now I'm just going to run around and look at the size of these things. So yeah, that's pretty good actually. Okay, and so if I run around over here, got quite a bit of room. Yeah, if I look up, that looks really, really big and intimidating. Okay. Yeah, I think this is pretty good. Something like this. Okay. Um, what I can also do is, let me take these here. And this is just, once again, this is just me playing around to try and get a sense of how this place is going to feel. All right. So let's say we've got something like that. You could even bring one of these out like this. Okay. All right. I think that's going to work about the size that I want. So uh, let me put the back on. I'll just duplicate this and move this over here. RZ 
nine zero there we go and let me put this on all right so there's that back let's put this on right here Okay. Yeah, so what do you think? Just general size. Yeah, so, okay. I think now, well, let me try and figure out one of these things here. What is this? It's a, like a, a it's a pillar, but it's a, let me see. So if I just made one of these, it looks like it's just one, and then we can duplicate it all over the place. So it looks like if we just made this, right here we could then duplicate it and put it all over and I I like this little piece here with these bolts I don't know what these holes are for but they look kinda cool <laughs> uh, so let's work with that let's see if we can do something with that so I'm gonna save this and go to a brand new layer here and let's just work with this. What is that? So I could just do it in a few different pieces, I suppose. And so let me just work on this piece right here. First of all, I'm just going to create a polygon plane. And let's rotate it around the X like so. And I'm just going to scale it, and I want it, this thing right there. Okay. So, what I can do... Let me add an edge loop right in the middle, delete this. Then I'm going to take this and add a mirror modifier on it and mirror it up. So in the Z, let me see if I have it. Let me apply the rotation. There we go. That helps. Okay. So now if I take this edge here, and bring it down. I just want to, I think I want to extrude and flare out is all I want to do. Extrude Z and then flare it out like that. Something like this. Now I can probably do a little bit of scaling here. There we go. All right. I think I want to bring this in just a little bit more. So I'm just trying to get that curve there at the bottom of that thing. There we go. Um, I could probably bring it in just a little bit more like that. All right. Now, I have no idea if this is the right height. In fact, I, didn't even, I don't even know what the height of these things are. So there's some stairs there, which suggests that this is probably eight feet high anyway. Do you think these... Do you think the 
containers would fit in there? That's an interesting question. Well, what I'll do is go ahead and work with it as is, and then I'll scale it to the proper height once I get it in there. I'm going to apply the mirror modifier, and then I will add a solidify and drag the thickness and give it a little bit of thickness like that. There we go. Now, okay, so there's that piece. Let's now take a look at this piece here, right there. Now, do I want to try and cut that with a a boolean, a pro, a, a projection? Hmm. Or do I want to just delete faces out of the middle there? You know what? I'm going to try that. I'm going to add a polygon plane. I'm going to rotate it around the Y. Line zero. I'm going to get this in place here. Like so. It looks like it's about like this. And scale it up like so. Okay. So there's that. Now, how do I want to get that hole in it? That's a good question. I think what I'm going to do is subdivide a couple times here. I can come over here and increase the number of cuts like this. And I think I might just try going like this. Keeping it kind of simple here. Like this. I don't know. It's not... It has the impression of it, and that's probably all I need. I don't think I need it to be that circular. So I think I'm going to go with that. Let's try that. I'm going to add a sol solidify. And something like that. Oops. There we go. Go. Okay. Now let's. I'll take this and duplicate it over here. Like so. Now I'm not going to need those interior faces on that, so I may get rid of those. But let's see. And then I want to make this little guy right there. So another, this time it can be a cube. Scale that down. And put this down here. Okay. that in place there. Now we don't need a couple faces here. I don't need this or this. I can get rid of that. I may clean up the others as well. But for now, that's, I can get rid of those. And then, I um, don't need this to be out quite so far. There we go. And then I can do that um, I can use a cylinder with six 
sides for this, just like I was talking about earlier. Move the cursor to there. And I will create a cylinder. There's my six-sided cylinder. I'll use a triangle fan. Get rid of those. Scale it down. And put these in place as the bolts down here holding it to the floor, I guess. Something like that. Now it looks like it's got a little bit so hard to tell from these images, but looks like it's got a little bit of something in the middle there. So if I grab those, extruded, and just scaled in, and then extrude it up again, something like that. Yeah, that'll work. Let's try that. Um, and I want to rotate around the Z here, just like that. Okay, so we have kind of that piece. That's, I just want to see if this is... Let's take all of this, Control-J, and com combine it with everything. Um, oh, you know, did I... Dang it. Undo this. What did I do? Did I... There. Okay, so this... I still need to apply that solidify. How about over here? Did I do that on all the others? Yep, I did that on the others. So now I can go back. Press Control J. There we go. That's a little better. Now I'm going to take... Uh, this edge right there. Pop the cursor to it and then move the pivot point to the cursor. There we go. So now, let's see how this works. It may not, but it might. You just never know. All right, I'm gonna spin it. Uh, see, 90 degrees here, like that. And let's put this over here, see what happens. I'm going to need to move this out just a bit. Oh, I need to see how big this is compared to these things. So, it looks like it's a little too big. Let me see. Um, there's no reference as to how big a container is for these things. But I'm going to make a guess that it's something like that. That's going to be my guess. All right. So now let's put these over here. And what I'm going to do, uh, I guess I'll go on back here. And let's try and use the array modifier. I'm going to apply the rotation here. And I'm going to use the array modifier in the Y, 0 in the X, 1 in the Y. How about negative 1 in the Y? There we go. Okay. So here they are. Um, looking at these, kind of hard to tell. But let's try... an offset like this. We need to go this way. How about negative 2? Let's try that. Negative 2. Uh, that's not right. Let's try this. Oh, let's try negative 2 meters. No. Nope. Negative 2 meters. There we go. Mm, how about negative three meters? Let's 
try that. All right. So now I'm going to increase the count like this. Yeah. So now I think I could put a, um, a, a platform up here. Let's try that. So let me just try it. If I took this and duplicated it and moved it up, it's hard to see. Let me uh, select everything and turn on wire with alt click there. There we go. We can see it a little bit better now. So if I did something like that, but up here on the top of the platform, you don't you you don't seem to have one every time. There's like spaces in between. So maybe for this one, I could reduce the count and increase this to say like negative eight meters like that. Or okay, maybe negative six. Let's try that. Negative six meters. Something like that. Maybe one more. No. What if we did that? Oh, that's nice. We could do that. All right. So yeah, I think this is what I'm going to continue with here. And now let me uh, come over here, save of course, shift F, tab, dang it, I just want to run around. <laughs> Why won't it let me? Def, tab, oh my god. I can't get it to catch. There he is, okay. So if I run around here, these are about this big. It's not bad. These are about that big. Alright. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm getting somewhere. So, I think I'm going to put these things on either side over here. Build them up some. And I'll need to make stairs and railings. I think this will work. I think this will work. So then I'll need to make a ceiling that looks something like this. That's kind of a, a sliding door, you know, after they drop the con containers in, they can slide the doors there. So if I take these now, uh, actually let me try, if I take this and duplicate it and move it in the X, can I then mirror it while I've got the array modifier on it? Should be able to. Oh yeah. Excellent. Okay. So that's there. And let's do the same thing here. So mirror that over. X, enter, there we go. So there you go. Now it looks like up on the top ones I don't need that bolt thing, so I can probably get rid of this, right? They, th Those aren't up here. So I can get rid of that. But okay, generally speaking, I think that's going to work. All right. Um, so how you guys doing? I, uh, I kind of got <laughs> focused there. Um, oh, I wanted to... Uh, mm, 
mention to everyone that tomorrow the kids are off of school. So Thursday and Friday, the kids are off of school. So I'm going to take a, a few days and hang out with them and then, you know, Christmas. And then uh, I think I'll be back on Monday. So um, I just wanted to wish you a Merry Christmas, a Happy Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate. I hope it's a great one. Um, so thank you for joining me here and uh, have a great day and take care.